Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to disable Internet Explorer and redirect it to Microsoft Edge using Microsoft Intune. Microsoft has already announced that the Internet Explorer 11 will no longer be supported after June 15, 2022. After the IE support ends, the Internet Explorer will not receive any updates from Microsoft. Microsoft is recommending users switch to Microsoft Edge for a modern browsing experience with faster, more secure solutions. Microsoft Edge has built-in Internet Explorer mode so that we can access legacy Internet Explorer-based websites and applications straight from Microsoft Edge. After configuring IE mode, we can disable Internet Explorer 11 as a standalone browser without affecting IE mode functionality across our organization. It is the time to disable Internet Explorer on our Windows devices. In this video, we will use device configuration profile to disable Internet Explorer and redirect users to Microsoft Edge. First, sign into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile. Select Windows 10 and later as a platform. Click on drop down arrow and select Settings Catalog as a profile type. Click on Create. Provide a meaningful name for this device configuration profile. We have given name Taste Block Internet Explorer. Click on Next. Click on Add Settings. Try searching Disable Internet Explorer. Click on Search. Click on Internet Explorer Administrative Templates. Select Disable Internet Explorer 11 as a standalone browser. This is device based setting. Now search for Internet Explorer integration. Click on search button. Under browse by category, click on Microsoft Edge. Select configure Internet Explorer integration. Again, this is device based setting. We also need to add a second setting to our profile. Search for Enterprise Mode Site. Click on Search. Click on Microsoft Edge and select Configure the Enterprise Mode Site List. Select the checkbox. If you want to keep both settings separated, create two different device configuration profiles. One to disable Internet Explorer and second to enable Internet Explorer Mode in Microsoft Edge with Enterprise Mode Site List. To keep this video short and simple, we are adding all settings in the same profile. Now close the Settings Speaker page. First enable the setting and select Never Notify that IE11 is disabled on this device. So let me enable this setting and Never is already selected. You can select other options if you want to notify the user about it. But here we'll go with never. Next, configure the enterprise mode site list to fill in the URL of our legacy site information. Let me enable this setting and here we need to specify the URL. We can use the enterprise mode site list manager tool that let us create, edit and export our organization site list and specify whether the site renders using enterprise mode or the default mode. 
Here I have specified the URL. Next, enable Internet Explorer integration setting. Make sure Internet Explorer mode is selected. After configuring the settings, click on Next. Default scope tag is selected and we are going with default scope. Click on Next. In the assignments page, under included groups, I'm going to click on add groups. We have created one taste device group named taste client 02. We will use that group to target our taste windows 10 device. So from the list, select taste client 02. Click on select and click on next. Review the settings which we have configured for this device configuration profile. Click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message, policy created successfully. Click on refresh. We can see the updated profile list with newly created device configuration profile name Taste Block Internet Explorer. Once the profile is active on the devices, users will no longer be able to launch Internet Explorer, but their legacy site will open and work with Microsoft Edge. Now to test the result, let's go to a test Windows 10 device. Open Internet Explorer. As you can see, currently user is able to access the Internet Explorer on this Windows 10 device. Let me close it. Let's perform manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for the sync process to finish. Remember, this Windows 10 device is member of our targeted device group Taste Client 02. Okay, last sync was successful. Let's restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, sign in again to this Windows 10 device. Let's perform the manual sync with Intune one more time. Okay, last sync was successful and under policies, here we can see the setting about Internet Explorer. Now, let's try to open Internet Explorer. Let's double click on Internet Explorer. But this time, instead of Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge web browser will open due to the integration between Internet Explorer and Edge. Users are not able to open Internet Explorer anymore. Instead, they will be redirected to Microsoft Edge web browser. Let's try to manually open Internet Explorer from C drive, Program Files, Internet Explorer and let's double click on iExplorer application. User is not able to open Internet Explorer. It will be redirected to Microsoft Edge web browser. This means all the configured settings are applied successfully on our Taste Windows 10 device. We also want to confirm it from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Go back to Intune Portal. So right now we are on Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center web interface and let's click on Refresh. Now click on a policy name Block Internet Explorer succeeded for one device. Click on view report. We can see assignment succeeded for our taste windows 10 device named labwin 10 hyphen CLI 02. Click on labwin 10 hyphen CLI 02. On this page, we can see the configured settings with the status. All three settings status is succeeded. So also from Intune portal, we can confirm that the device configuration profile to disable Internet Explorer is applied successfully on our Windows 10 device in our test environment. That's all for this video on how to disable Internet Explorer and redirect it to Microsoft Edge web browser using Microsoft Intune.
Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.